Do you ever get frustrated when you are presenting in Zoom and then you start your presentation slides and they take over the entire screen? Even if you have a second monitor, they take over everything. And when that used to happen, I used to resort to a kind of wonky workaround. I would share a portion of my screen and I would actually be sharing my slides in preview mode. I wasn't even playing the presentation, but that was frustrating because then I couldn't have things like animations and sometimes you'd get that dreaded spell check squiggly line, even though I know it's spelt correctly. Well, today I'm going to share how can you avoid that dreaded takeover? You don't want your presentation to just completely override your computer. It's nice to have a bit more control and there are some options. So I'm going to share those options with you today. Now, if you are new around here, my name is Kat and I help people to create professional and engaging online presentations. And before I get into today's demonstration, I wanna quickly let you know, because if you're watching this video, there's a good chance you're looking to take your presentations to the next level. But I have a new training that is available called Elevate Your Online Presentations. And if you want more info, you can go to catmulvahill.com elevate, and I've got the link in the description. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm gonna show you a few different examples and my PC friends, I'm looking out for you. Today I have my PC connected and I'm going to show you a demonstration from there as well. But let's talk about, first of all, what are some of the options for avoiding having this full screen takeover? So there are a couple of different ways you can tackle this. One is you can actually play your presentation in a window instead of the full screen. Now you're going to have your change your settings and that's what I'm going to show you. Now the second option is that you can actually bring in your slides in presentation mode from a different device. So maybe that means you have a tablet, a phone, or a second computer that's connected. And so this is another great option, not just for avoiding the takeover, but also because it shares resources and doesn't put all the demands on one computer, because sometimes that can be a lot and our computers weren't all designed for this, and so that's a way to share it. But for the purpose of today, I'm just going to stick with the first one. We'll do the second option in a separate video. But for this first one, I wanna show you how you can change your settings to play it in a window. And then when it comes to sharing this, how do we actually share the presentation in a window? Well, one option is to share it directly from Zoom, and there is a little bit of a trick if you're using PowerPoint which I will show you. And then the second option is that you could share from a streaming software, sort of like what I'm using right now, Ecamm or OBS, and you can share your production. And this is where you can get a little bit more creative, for example, having your slides and yourself as a picture in picture. So let's see some examples of how we can change our settings so that we can still put it in a presentation mode, but it's in a window instead. So I'm gonna start us off with a PC. So I've, on my PC here, you can see that I have PowerPoint open, but I also have a Zoom meeting in place. So we'll come back to the Zoom meeting a little bit later. The first thing I wanna show you is how you can change your settings. Because right now, if I go and start this presentation, it takes over the entire screen. And that is what we are looking to avoid. So what we are going to do is hover over to slideshow, and then we'll go to set up slideshow and you now have a show type option. So we are going to change this from presented by a, a speaker in full screen. We're going to go for the second one, which is browsed by an individual. So this is in a window. So we click OK. Now when we play the presentation, you will see that it shows up in a window. And I can actually play around and resize this window however I like. But what you will notice is that there is a taskbar at the top that has PowerPoint slideshow and the name of the slideshow. And then there are some settings and you can advance at the bottom. So we're gonna come back to how you hide that because we don't actually wanna share that. We just want to share those slides. So that is something that will go in the second part of this video, but first I wanna change, show you all the settings. So now let's take a look at if you've got PowerPoint on a Mac. So if you've got PowerPoint on a Mac, it's actually very similar, basically the same. So you are going to hover over to slideshow and you also go to set up slideshow. And then let's bring this down here. 
you'll see the same things just in a different format. But again, you are looking for browse by an individual slash window. You select that and then you click OK. Now that you've done that, when you go to play your presentation, now you've got it in a window. But as you see here, it still has that taskbar at the top. It does not have the bottom one. It's slightly different from the PC, but it is in a window. And so now it is not taking up the entire screen. We can move this around. We can resize this. And I will show you in the second part how you can hide this PowerPoint taskbar. Now let's hop over to Keynote. So I have Keynote also open on this, and this is only for Macs. And so if I go over to Keynote, this one's a little simpler. All you have to do is if you actually go to play, as soon as you click play on your options, you'll actually see play slideshow or play slideshow in window. There's no hotkey for this, unfortunately, but if you play slideshow in window, then all of a sudden it has changed. Now, if you hover, you'll see that taskbar, but Keynote has done us the favor of not having that there. It disappears when you are not, when you don't have the cursor over it. So now we have seen the three different options. So you've seen how to do that with a PC. You've seen how to do that with our uh, Mac for both PowerPoint and for Keynote. Okay, so how do we share? So the first option is sharing directly from Zoom, but I mentioned we wanna get rid of that header. So what I'm going to do is actually share my um, live demo mode. So now you are going to see my entire desktop. So up here, this is my Ecamm production that I'm running. I'm recording this video right now using Ecamm. <laughs> Over in the top right, you can see I've got my Zoom meeting that is currently open. And then I've got, this is my PowerPoint and this is my keynote. And they're both still in that presentation mode. And when I hover over them, you can see, when I over this one, you can see the taskbar, but here the taskbar is always showing. So if we want to share, if we share screen, you'll see all the options come up here from Zoom. And if I were to just pick keynote, you can see that it doesn't show anything. Over here, it's hard to see, but you can actually still see this little top window. So if you were just showing a keynote in a window, you could just click on that and share, and you don't have to worry so much about that taskbar. If you hover the curse over the cursor, yeah, maybe it'll show up, but it'll also disappear. However, with PowerPoint, instead of choosing this option, I actually want you to go to the advanced share tab, and this is where you're going to share a portion of the screen. So click portion and say share. Now, <laughs> this is the part where you are going to get this green box and you can see that you can move this green box around the screen and you can position it wherever you like and you can resize it. So if I grab the corner, I can just drag this down and I can hover it. Now, right now, this is my little Ecamm <laughs> window. I'm gonna move that over here. So now I have just covered over the presentation. Similarly, you can do the same thing. If we do this over for our PowerPoint, I'm going to resize that a little bit here. So drag these corners. So now I am covering just the presentation and you can see that this little taskbar at the top has actually been covered. So now everyone would see the actual presentation. If I were to go forward in the slides, if you had an animation, they would show those. So that's a great option. Now, because of this green window, what I recommend, and I'm gonna get out of live demo. So what I recommend for this is that you open a blank Zoom meeting, just empty, just you, and you position the slide window exactly where you will have it when you are presenting on the live call with others. You want to position that green box and get that ready. And then when you close it, the next time you open it, so when you re-enter Zoom and you click advanced share portion of the screen, it will default to where you had it before. And that way you avoid altering it in front of everyone because everyone will see exactly where it is on your screen and that is best to avoid that. It's not the end of the world. People are pretty forgiving, but I always think that that's a nice thing to do. Just remember to not move around or readjust your window showing your slides, the presentation window, because then that will affect it. So that's an option for that one. And it works exactly the same with the PC, share portion of screen, and just drag that over your window. 
So now though, let's say that you actually wanna share from streaming software. So I'm gonna first share about Ecamm and then I will share OBS. So if you wanted to share a production from Ecamm, meaning maybe I have my slides on here and I have myself in a little window at the same time, which is something that I typically do when I present with slides. Well, let's do this and I'm gonna share my screen again. So when it comes to sharing, if you just have one monitor or one screen, maybe you're on a laptop, but you're running Ecamm. If you have the pro plan, you can make sure that on output for Ecamm, you have your sharing window turned on. And once that's turned on, that means when you go to share your screen, if you go under basic, at the bottom here, you'll see Ecamm Live sharing window. And that will share everything that you've put together in Ecamm. So if you've set up a scene with your slides and yourself as picture in picture, that will show up here. And then you can click share and that will share your screen with everyone. Now, the other thing is that under output, you have a video monitor. This is my preferred option, is that if you have a second monitor, share your Ecamm output to a second monitor. So this is going right now to my teleprompter screen. And then over here, this is my second monitor. So this is a duplicate. And so if I were to click display two, this is going to share my Ecamm output. And this is the best resolution. And that is the one that I recommend the most. Now I'm going to switch back and now we're gonna hop over and talk about OBS. So I've got OBS open and running on my PC. So let's see how you would share from OBS. So maybe same thing, you have a picture in picture set up. And by the way, if you wanna set up these scenes, you can always go and watch my instructions on how to set up a scene in Ecamm. And I have instructions on how to set up a scene in OBS. So if we go over to the PC, you will see here I've got OBS and I've actually set it up in advance. So I have a scene here where now I don't have my camera attached, but my camera would be here and I've got my slides here, or I have another scene, which is just the slides. So when I'm presenting in Zoom, I can always switch between when I wanna have my face showing and I can go maybe for emphasis, I really wanna show and zero in on a slide. So we've got that set up in OBS, but how do you share it so it's high quality? Because you can share it through the virtual camera, but when it comes to slides, I really think you should share your screen in Zoom. So it's really the same principle. If we go to our Zoom meeting and say, share screen, we are going to share a portion of the screen and then, oh wait, I missed a step. So first we are going to actually create what's called a preview window. So if I right click, I can say, we wanna preview it to a windowed projector. So we go windowed projector and then we can move this around and we can actually stretch this. So maybe I want this to be say this big. This is a preview of OBS, but it's a clean preview. And so now we wanna go back to our Zoom meeting. And when we click on share, we say portion of screen and you will get that green window that will come up. And now we just wanna make sure that we place it properly. So I would resize it and I would obviously, as I recommended, do this before, but now everyone on Zoom is just going to see what's in this preview window. And then we can toggle between our different scenes and you can set up hotkeys or you can position this so that you can clearly see your OBS fully and navigate with that and you can see that. So you could have these side by side. Now, if you close that and let's stop the share here, the other option in OBS is if you do have a second monitor, you can do a full screen projector. And then right now you see, because this is my laptop, I only have one option for a screen, but if I had a second monitor attached, I could then put a full screen projector and then share that second screen in Zoom. So ultimately it's the same thing that I'm doing right now with Ecamm where I have my Ecamm output to a second monitor and share that monitor. That's the best resolution. It's kind of the cleanest way to do it. But if you're only working with one screen, you can have that preview window and then you can toggle between your scenes. Obviously it's a little better if you're side by side so you can see the preview and you can control your streaming software. But that way you are able to share that higher quality. You can have that picture in picture and everything is set together.
So let me know if you have any questions. And as always, if you found this helpful, I would really encourage you to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can learn more about how to create more professional and engaging online presentations.